the situation became clear. This Yu Zhongak believed in something he shouldn't have. I shouted towards Li Solhua. Li Solhua! Take the kids and escape from the island right now. The disaster of floods is different than the past. We must fight her together. If we don't all fight, Kim Dokcha. Don't disturb me if you don't want to die. Yu Zhong came from behind me and grabbed me by the neck. All of a sudden, my body lost strength and my knees fell to the ground. I bit my lip and exclaimed, Yu Zhongak, listen to me. The Shin Yu Sung wake up now isn't the Shin Yu Sung you know. Once you meet her... I wanted to say more, but my voice suddenly changed into a squeaky sound. Damn it. I used hit a pressure point to gradually relieve the energy that Yu Zhongak had released into me. Now I had to subdue him. Of course, no one in Seoul could subdue Yu Zhongak. No. There's only one. That person was coming right now. The disaster of floods is waking up. Along with the message, a green light emerged from the meteorite. Finally, the hatching of the meteorite began. I heard the voice of the intermediate Dokkabi. The incarnations of the soul are really hot-tempered. Other areas aren't so eager to wake up the disaster and are struggling to avoid the disaster. It was difficult for Bihong to stall any longer. Do you miss your first companions? Now, prepare to face the disaster. Your companions are waiting for you in the other world. A new main scenario has arrived. Main scenario number five. Disaster of floods. Category, main. Difficulty, SS. Clear conditions. Kill the disaster floods, Shin Yusung. Time limit, none. Compensation, 100,000 coins. Unknown. Failure, the fall of Seoul. A large meteorite split apart and revealed the interior that was reminiscent of a womb. A completely new woman was trapped inside like a fossil. It was a mysterious woman with a pure white skin. Her beautiful hair was tied up in a ponytail and wrapped around her body. This was the appearance of adult Shin Yusung. A girl? What is this? That's a disaster? Li Jihei and Li Hyungsung stopped while some incarnation secretly looked at her. They seemed to feel the severe power gap. The exclusive skill, fourth wall has offset your mental shock. The disaster of floods was different from other disasters. Unlike other disasters who were weakened by the early hatching, the disaster of floods had no such thing. The disaster of floods was stronger the earlier she woke up. The moment Shin Yusung opened her eyes, white fur grew all over her body. The white fur was reminiscent of an animal's pelt and covered her body in the form of clothing. Shin Yusung slowly emerged from the meteorite and stepped onto the ground. She was like a child taking her first step. She had just taken a step when everyone around her was frozen. She was a species with a different strength. Even the strong ones among the incarnations found it hard to move. However, there was a person who wasn't troubled by her pressure at all. I've been waiting, Shin Yusung. Shin Yusung slowly turned towards the man. Captain? It was a short encounter, but Shin Yusung instantly realized something. Captain was waiting for me. This isn't the first time you've seen me, right? Yuzhong nodded. I need your help. Before that, what regression are you on now? Why are you wondering? I need to know. Yuzhong hesitated for a moment before replying. The third time. <laughs> I see. And you met me in the second regression, right? Yes. She was the reason why Yuzhong could reach the 46th scenario in the second regression. It was thanks to the disaster of floods in front of us. The disaster of floods was Shin Yusung from the 41st world line. Shin Yusung was abandoned by her world, traveled for many years, and eventually descended into a scenario of a past earth. It's the third regression. I gave you information last time, but you still failed? That's why I need more information. The second regression Shin Yusung chose Yu Zhongok, gave him all the information she knew. It was a final consideration for the Yu Zhongok she knew. It was only for the second regression. Shin Yusung opened her mouth. It took thousands of years. I could feel countless years of fatigue piled up in Shin Yusung's expression. The things done by the 41st round Yu Zhongok were worse than murder. Thousands of years. This period of time was enough to make a person collapse and for their ego to wear down. Shin Yusung endured all that time and finally became a disaster. Captain, do you know how hard it was for me? I endured all those years to comply with your request. What do you mean? I wanted to see Captain. 
Yu Zhong didn't see the despair in Xin Yusung's smile. He opened his mouth in a nonchalant manner. Give me all the information from the 41st regression. Did the future me say anything? I wanted to shout at him, but my voice wouldn't come out. Xin Yusung's eyes were calm as the eye of the storm. Only I could read the turbulent emotions hidden deeply in her eyes. Nothing has changed. Thanks to Yu Zhong, Xin Yusung moved alone in the labyrinth of the worlds for a thousand years. She worked 200 years for the sake of humanity. She kept her promise to defend the world for 200 years. Then for another 200, she remembered Yu Zhong and her companions. Throughout the years, Xin Yusung used a handful of memories to protect herself. However, questions rose the more she remembered. What does all this mean? Time erased her cause and sense of justice. Once the cause disappeared, only the poor human truth remained. She felt resentment towards Yu Zhongok, who turned her and her companions into a tool of regression. Loneliness and despair of losing the world permeated her bones. Xin Yusung hated Yu Zhongok who made her into this. Captain has never changed. Don't say unnecessary things and turn over the information. I don't have time. What are we to Captain? What? I did everything for you. I gave you one chance. However, Captain is still here. She graciously helped you jump in the second regression. You'll keep going forward. You'll turn people like me into tools and abandon me in that terrible labyrinth of the worlds. It's all because of that goddamn justice of yours. I hate you for living this world alone. Now Shin Yusung was facing the Yu Zhong of the third regression. There's only one thing I'm going to tell you. Captain can't save anyone. Shin Yusung laughed. Your third regression ends here. Light emerged from Shin Yusung's hands the same moment I was able to release myself. I ran with all my strength and was hit by the ether storm. Get out of the way, you shark! My blood was split open and my mind became blank. A massive crater formed at the center of the island. Me and Yu Zhongok jumped at the air and then rolled along the ground for a while. It hurt. Shit. It really hurt. Kim Doksha? I was surprised Yu Zhongok looked down at my fallen self. My breathing was fast and the sky turned yellow. It's true that I've been lucky so far. The world was originally like this. Only one thing had to go wrong for the world to be destroyed. Kim Doksha! <laughs> Bastard. There's no need to make a big fuss. I smiled at Yu Zhongok and told him. Hey, kill me. <laughs> you usually want to kill me. What do you mean? There's only one minute left, so I'll let you kill me. Kill me. Yu Zhongok looked at my belly. I wanted to touch my belly, but it felt like nothing was there. Blood constantly emerged from my mouth, and I was dizzy enough to vomit. I kept struggling to breathe. The exclusive skill, fourth wall, has offset some of the pain. If it wasn't for the fourth wall, then I might be weeping. I couldn't feel it last time because I died in one blow. Wait, Kim Doksha, it isn't too late. It is too late. <laughs> it isn't. If you kill me now, you can gain coins. I'm already dying. Just kill me. He usually made an expression that I hadn't seen in a long time. It was an expression he made when he first saw me on the subway. I can't do it. My vision blurred. I could see Yu Zhongok trying to stop the bleeding, but I lost too much blood. More than anything, my internal organs were gone. There was no way I could live. It was unreasonable, even for Li Solhua. My consciousness slowly scattered into the air like a collapsing sandcastle. You have died. A moment later, a system message was heard. Current karma points, 100 out of 100. You have enough karma points to use the privilege. The privilege of King of No Killing is activated. As expected, I opened my eyes in the darkness. It was this state again. It was truly a dirty feeling. Due to the collision error with the exclusive skill, the privilege of King of No Killing would be delayed. Thanks to your death, your consciousness has been completely liberated from the constraints of your body. Exclusive skill, Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint Stage 3 has been activated. I heard familiar messages in the darkness. The next moment, a screen appeared in front of me. It was a third person observation. Flood. It was like the enemy of be said. The disaster of floods was more than the other disasters combined. 
Shinyu-san gave an order, and the air distorted, making monsters pop out. Monster Gate. The main feature of the legend great attribute, Beast Lord. The numerous monsters domesticated by her as she traveled the dimensions were being released as nightmares on Earth. Tear. Break. Destroy. Many 7th grade and 6th grade species could be seen. Their evil some comparable to the 5th grade fire dragon. It's time for the disaster. Nodal's sum exploded, and waves covered Han River. The confused incarnations became the food of monsters. The late-arriving kings started giving orders. Then I saw a person with a fearsome aura behind Shin Yusung. I'm gonna kill you, Shin Yusung. This crazy bastard. Yusung's ether blade moved through the air with a terrible sound. Shin Yusung avoided the attack and smiled lightly. Your level of breaking the sky sword is quite high already. However... You can't beat me no matter how hard you try. At most, is it this level? You must turn in this round. We'll see. I won't die now. It might be possible if it was ten years later. I'll kill you. Captain, aren't you too agitated? What's the reason? I quietly prepared first person's protagonist's point of view. In the current situation, it was best to transfer to Yu Zhongwik's body. I didn't feel good would be a bit easier to deal with the disaster if I transferred to this guy. Something is strange. Are you really captain? Then Shin Chu Sung's eyes shifted to my dead body. Who is that person? I've never seen such a person before. Yu Zhong stayed silent. He just swung and swung his sword. This was his only answer. How long did he swing his sword? Yu Zhong slowly opened his mouth. That guy... Shin Yusung's face gradually filled with doubt and disbelief. When the silent Yuzhong finally spoke, he's my companion.